With practice mode and Serato DJ Pro, you're able to mix two tracks to preview how those sound without being connected to hardware. You can also create cue points, loops, and practice beat jumps. You can access cues, loops, and beat jumps by pressing the control tab below the practice crossfader. For cue points, you can trigger, add, and delete them in practice mode. There are eight slots available for cue points to set on the track. To set a cue point, click and drag the waveform to the desired position on the playhead. And then you can click the plus sign on any desired empty cue point slot and add the cue point. When you add a cue point, a play symbol will appear with the colored rectangle. When you press play on the symbol, you'll be able to trigger the cue point. If you right click on the colored rectangle, you'll be able to change the color of the cue point if desired. Above the rectangle is the cue point start time, which tells you the time of the cue point on the track. If you double click on the time, you'll be able to name the cue point. If you want to delete a cue point, you can move your mouse to the right of the time or the name of the cue point. An X marker will appear when you press it and the cue point will be deleted. You can also view cue points in performance pad cue layout. If you go to the setup and then go to library and display, under display, you can turn on performance pad cue layout. When you leave the setup, you can view the cue points and performance pad cue layout. This is how you'll see performance pads on most controllers or a mixer like the Pioneer DJ MS9. You can create manual and auto loops in practice mode. Below the track display for each track are the manual and auto loop sections. A manual loop is a loop that you can manually set with beginning and end points. This is great for punching in and out the loops on the fly by hand. To create a manual loop, you'll press the end button at the point where you want the loop to start. Once you reach the place where the loop is going to end, you'll press the out button. From there, the manual loop will be activated. If you want to adjust the beginning of the loop to make fine tuned corrections, you can press the end button and use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to make the fine tuned adjustments. When you're finished, you'll press the end button again and the loop will be complete and active. You can follow these same actions for making adjustments to the out of the loop by pressing the out button and using the up and down arrows to fix the loop. Again, when you press out, the loop will be complete and corrected. Once the loop is saved, you can double click in the loop start time and name the loop as desired. You can also jump to the start point of the loop by pressing the slot reloop button. Turn the loop slot on and off with the slot loop on and off button and lock the loop to prevent deleting it by pressing the lock loop button. If the lock is off and you want to delete the loop, you can do so by pressing the X next to the unlock symbol. Auto loops are loops that are created automatically based on beat size. Auto loops can range between 1 32nd of a beat all the way up to 32 beats. Automatic loops can be activated and deactivated in the computer. To activate an auto loop, you can choose the beat size in the auto loop tab. If you want to change the range of the auto loops, you can press the shift auto loop range arrows next to the auto loop tabs. You can also activate and deactivate desired auto loops by pressing the loop on and loop off tab. By pressing the half or times two tabs, you can half or double time the size of the auto loop while it's playing. To save the auto loop, you can press the plus symbol in the loop section and you'll be good to go. Beat Jump is a feature in Serato DJ Pro that allows you to beat jump forward or backwards in your track by predetermined amounts perfectly in time. To turn on Beat Jump, go to the setup. In the DJ Preferences under Control Preferences, turn on Show Beat Jump Controls. When Beat Jump Controls are turned on, on each of the decks in the auto loop section, the top row will be for auto loops and the bottom row will be for beat jumps. For the bottom row, you'll see four beat jump sizes to select. You can select the beat jump to find length between 1 32nd of a beat and 32 beats by selecting the numerical size. You can also use the shift beat jump range arrows to adjust the range of the beat jumps by defined lengths that are available to view. To beat jump in the screen, you can press the beat jump forward and backwards arrows at the end of the beat jump row. Practice mode is a great way to test out tracks to see if they work well together in a transition during a DJ set. You can do this from anywhere with your laptop, on your couch, on the plane, train, or even in the cab on the way to your next gig. 
By setting up cue points and loops before you get to the gig, you'll be able to perform in a much more efficient way. As well, knowing the sections of the songs where you need to beat jump can help to avoid silence and extended breakdowns to keep the energy on the dance floor. So here I'm gonna do a quick demo of using cues, loops, and beat jump in practice mode in Serato DJ Pro. We'll start the first track. I'm gonna beat jump. Right there. I'm gonna move the crossfade over to the left. I'm gonna get ready to drop in the second track. Press sync so it locks it in. Start moving the crossfader with that loop activated. Crossfader is over. I can fade it out. So that's cues, loops, and beat jumps in practice mode in Serato DJ Pro. For more info, check out serato.com.